Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here. Today's topic is decoy food and decoy valuables. Just a topic that preppers might want to consider to dissuade any marauders or pillagers from looking any further in your homestead if they happen to break in and do some brand sacking. Um, maybe while you're not home or you are home and you have to take off because of safety reasons, say you're unable to defend for some reason and you got to take off, let's hope that they see these stashes first, accept these as the possible security and safety measures you've taken. Hopefully they grab this stuff and not your true valuable stashes. So just some options to consider here. Let's talk about food stash first. A nice decoy food stash might be presented in a pantry or a closet or a cupboard, uh, something that would be easily found yet contain obvious uh, items that would be related to prepping or emergency uh, disaster preparedness. For example, here we have some mountain house food, some uh, these food rations. You can put MREs in here as well. I've got some different um, you know, emergency food, uh, survival food like Go Foods or E Foods. The old rice and beans have some cans, possibly, and maybe a case of water just to uh, make it look complete. You can add other items. I would consider maybe having more than this so that it looks uh, like this is your true stash for the family survival. Um, you may want to consider this a, you know, it could, this, remember, this food can still be used for that. Uh, purpose. Um, it may only be a one or two or three week supply that is visible while the rest is put away somewhere safely. Okay, so let's talk about decoy valuables next. One additional thought on the food stash. Um, I've seen it brought up, should we poison the food so that if somebody does come and steal your food, they get poisoned and some of their group members die or get very sick and they think I'm never going back there because they're not sure exactly what food is safe and what food is tainted. That's totally up to you. You always risk the fact that one of your community members or family members might end up inadvertently eating the poisoned food so you want to take that into account, weigh the pros and the cons. Uh, you also may want to uh, consider how you're going to mark which cans are dangerous so that there are no accidental uh, situations that might cause a problem in your own family. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go on to uh, decoy valuables. Okay, let's talk decoy valuables. And one of the obvious places that people or ransackers, pillagers, marauders will look for valuables is in your bedroom closet. This seems to be a favorite place that many people stash their goodies. So you might want to consider getting a safe that you can put in the closet or somewhere that you find is the best place for you. I would not recommend bolting it down. I would leave it so that it's movable and it's something that they can pick up and take away with them. I would lock it so they are unsure at the moment what's in it, but they maybe want to just take it with them and open it at a later time. And I would recommend also putting some valuables in it so that they feel that they, yes, did find the big um, score and they're hopefully not coming back because they've already drained your, your, uh, your supplies. So you might want to consider a little bit of cash, possibly some silver, maybe a little bit of ammo. Put in some important looking papers. They don't have to be your real papers, but make them look important, like maybe a, a will from Aunt Ethel or, or what have you not, maybe some real estate papers, something like that, and possibly even some jewelry. And I would... Make the stuff valuable enough so a person truly believes that they did get some goodies, but obviously you're not going to give away your primary goodies. Now, ideally you'd want to keep your truly important valuables hidden very well, uh, very obscurely from anybody breaking into your place and just having to do a uh, break and enter uh, and run it, grab and run. So you'd want to have it well hidden. But this decoy safe might save those valuables from being uh, pillaged or ransacked. So just a couple thoughts today on decoy food stash and decoy valuables. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you have any other ideas for decoys? It's a great concept for preppers and I'm sure there's a lot of ways we can use this concept. We can also use the um, 
You know, it's kind of the Trojan horse concept. Things are not as they seem or as they appear. So uh, let's put our heads, heads together and think of some other ways we can use the decoy concept for prepping. Take care, everyone. Happy and healthy prepping.